crap. Uh -oh. oh, that's that's your dog. What's that? Oh, what? Oh, it's so cute! He's got, what's you call it in his head? He's a corgi mix. He's a corgi mix? So this is the one that would have gotten put down. Oh, baby! Hello everyone, Marlene McCohen here. How are you guys? I miss you. We have an important, urgent video today. Um, and I didn't even tell George about it. That's how urgent it is. I don't recommend you doing that if you're in this situation. Let me just tell you what the situation is. 55 dogs were scheduled to be euthanized today at the Riverside Shelter. A very excellent rescue organization called Barks and Bitches. My sister's involved with, she's fostered for them before. My sister put the word out and I decided like, you know what, I wanna save one of those dogs today. So that's what we're on our way to do. My sister is gonna foster a small one of those today. So we're in an urgent hurry. I haven't had time to tell George, cause it's today, you know, this has all happened really fast. So he's gonna come home and see a dog. Also my sister-in-law, Sio is coming. Um, my sister picked him up, didn't tell her what we're doing either. Uh, yeah, hi. Did you put the blanket in the car for? I put it in the back seat. What do you mean in the back seat? In the back seat, with the with the jacket that was over there. What do you mean there's a jacket over there? You put it over the jacket? Yeah. Ty! Please. That's not even funny! Oh my god, Ty, also the cat, put the cat back in the YouTube room before any dogs come. Psycho! And don't tell George, okay? Like, cause at this point, it's just gonna be more fun to surprise him. <laughs> You're not leaving the house, are you? No, I'll be here. She just called and my sister was gonna foster a little dog. And now they said, oh, they have a problem. Like that one got adopted or something and got swooped up. So what's a snafu? She wrote snafu. Pick up or like a... Okay, well, she wrote snafu. And that that, that basically now it's two large dogs and Jenna told her fiance that he, she's bringing a small dog. That's gonna be a big dog. Hi, Ty! What the hell? Did you have some spaghetti? What the hell's on your head, Ty? Ty? You got a little excited with his lunch today. <laughs> All right, Chooch. Oh, hi, Ty. Hey, hey. Hi, Ty. Hi, Ty. <laughs> Are you excited about Theo? Were you excited too? You look excited. Oh my God! The fact that there's two. Two what? That like there's now it's another big dog. Oh yeah. I don't want to drive. I can't see all the What um, does CEO think is happening? Oh yeah, that's a good question. All I know is we better not go to one of those doggy rescue things. This is the location? Yeah, it's just a house. Hold on, I got like some stuck in a cactus. I gotta lock the door. How do I lock the door? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Oh my god. Yeah. Who's this? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is one of the and three. Then, since May 1st, uh, they have impounded 800 dogs. <gasps> yeah. Where? Uh, Where do they even have 800 dogs? Well, here's the horrible part about the whole no. thing. Riverside, their jurisdiction is also the Coachella oh, right. shelter, which right. is I think a, a smaller, right. yeah, smaller shelter. But just on Monday alone, they impounded 60 to 65 dogs. And out of the 800, so what are we at, May 12th? Uh, the 800 dogs that were impounded, 700 of them came in as strays. Listen, we didn't even make a dent. We made a dent for the dogs we got and all the dogs that hopefully end up in some decent homes. But um, it's just going to fill right back up again yeah, at this that's rate. What so, yeah, it's just it's it's just this horrible thing. But spay and neuter is your, you know, answer. Oh, hello. I know. Oh, what a good <laughs> the dog's dog. always visiting. Oh crap. Uh -oh. oh, that's that's your dog. Oh, what's that? Okay. what? Yes, so that, that, that has been, uh, that's part of like damage from a husky from, you know, many years ago. So the dog is eager Aww. to meet us? I know. James Dean, we named him James Dean. Oh! I love him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so wait till you meet him. He's just, and he was the one that was set to be euthanized today at noon. 
So when you meet him, you're gonna just think like how, and he's been there for two months, over two months. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably closer to, ten, uh, yeah, wow. two and a half months he's been at the shelter. So he had to go, not because of anything about him, but just because he's been, they have to do it by date. Right, right. Kind of thing. But when you meet him, you're gonna think, why? You know, oh my God. He's fantastic. So what we're doing now is like, there's two dogs and Jenna's going home. Oh, it's so cute. This is James Dean. Hi, James Dean. They don't neuter him for rescue. Oh, I think he's going with Jenna. I think so. <laughs> he's got, what do you call it in his head? He's a corgi mix. He's a corgi mix? No. He's like a giant corgi. He's a corgi shepherd. Let's go down. He's a shepherd? You're kind of. Oh, well, I say that now, He's but cute. once they get relaxed. I know, right? Well, so, so, hey, buddy. So this is the one that would have gotten put down. Oh, baby! So and so there is two, though, right? Yeah. 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 The other one's, the other one's at the yard. Marlene's waiting to see what's <laughs> behind door number two. Hi, cutie! That's a lot of energy. This is Nip, Marlene. Hi! You're George is going to be really into this dog. <laughs> Joey's absolutely going to kill me. <laughs> See out here. They're like siblings. Sit. Sit. Do any of you want to sit? They think that there's a treat involved. Oh, you're so cute. Keep in mind, um, James Dean is scheduled to be euthanized today. So this dog got out. Peanut butter. <laughs> and we saved a life. So the most important thing that people have to realize, it's so exciting when you rescue a dog or get a dog out of a shelter or, you know, any situation that's been uncomfortable. They're in a very vulnerable state of mind. And it's no different than us as humans. When we go into an unknown environment, we're a little bit more vulnerable and susceptible. I always tell my fosters, you think that giving a lot of affection when you first bring in a dog because you want them to like you is actually doing more harm than good. I always say leadership over love. The worst thing that you can do when a dog leaves is, or when you're leaving, is to heighten the sense of uh, emotion, like be a good dog, I'll be, you know, all of that and heighten their emotion when you're walking out on the door, now the door becomes a problem. When I walk in my front door, the dogs know I'm home, they hear the car. I walk in my front door and I just do it without ever thinking. I walk in, I don't make eye contact with them. I walk right through them, I put my things down. Um, and then in a separate part of the house, once they're calm, I, they then get the greeting. So, um, and I've never had an issue as a result of that. And it's just kind of a natural thing I do. Even though all my dogs are fine, I come and go as I please. I still walk in and I still maintain that same um, entrance and leaving. That's a very hard thing to do. So it's really easy to, you know, be creating bad behaviors in our dogs, which also leads to more dogs needing to be put up for adoption and things like that. So I think that's really good advice. I think the most important thing that I can say is it's pretty horrible what's happening to dogs. You know, and it's not just the shelter Riverside that we just pulled from that's in this catastrophe. It's shelters everywhere and sh certainly shelters everywhere in Southern California are ever at full capacity. I just want to tell people that um, to really kind of jump in and if you can be a volunteer for your local shelter, if they allow the dogs to get out, you can walk them, spend time with them, take them to a yard. It just means the world to the dog. I think that's super important. Um, I also feel that um, if you have other ways you want to contribute, you know, latch on to your local rescue, your small grassroots rescue, who's hitting the pavement every day, kind of like we do, you know, we hit the pavement every day and we go to where dogs need help. Um, the big, huge, huge corporations, uh, I think that it's like either five or 10% of your donation literally goes to the dogs. Fostering is huge, definitely the biggest thing you can do. Um, and if you can't do any of that, you know, send in a donation. You know, bring over food. Just latch on to a shelter, help those dogs that are impounded, or help a grassroots rescue in your community. That's doing a great job. Oh, I love it. That's the most important part. Ah! Oh my god. I'll be the foster auntie. Yes, you are. <laughs> there you go. No, no, not in here. Not in here, buddy. Leave So, um, do crazy. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, put down the camera. <laughs> hey, you 
called? Oh, where are you? Oh, okay, you're at a client's house? Okay, when are you gonna be home? <laughs>